we've discovered a cat family, we have realized their mom was not around. We frequently visited them to feed them. But after a few visits, Uni, the fluffy one, was a bit sick. So we decided to take her to the vet. I left Uni at the vet. I started visiting her every day. And at the same time, I was visiting Nami, her sister, in the seaside. When Uni came healthy, I was feeling like, I think she's going to be our cat. So I took her home. After one or two days, we decided to go back for Nami. Nami was around. And after we opened the cage, she just walked in and we were really surprised. It was very easy. I think she wants to go home too. It was around two weeks, they were apart from each other. They were sisters. So we couldn't guess there will be an issue when we take Nami home. Uni approached, Uni is at her, like she didn't recognize her. <laughs> We were a bit worried, but day by day, we made some effort to break the ice between them. We started playing game with them. They were having fun separately. They followed the ball or followed the string. And then after a week, they started playing with each other. They are galloping inside the house. They were very close. They were getting along, so it was a good moment for us. They also had to experience new things at home, like plants and curtains. They were doing bad things together. We are having Uni and Nami two years now. They play, chase and sleep together. They are really good sisters now. After having our daughter, we were a bit worried, but day by day, they started to understand. One night, when my wife woke up to feed her, she noticed that both of them were sleeping inside the crib. Very comfortable. I believe having Uni and Nami prepared our minds to be parents. It's the biggest gift for us. We feel like they are also our children.